of a brand do you want to get it in front of millions of people instantly well email me right now ogod at hiphopun.com All right, so Rick Ross did an interview with The Morning Hustle earlier today, and he was asked about DJ Envy, not only the car battle that they were having and going back and forth on the internet, he was also asked about the recent real estate scandal that's going on right now where DJ Envy's partner you know, was indicted by the feds. So I'm going to actually play the audio, the video, actually, and stick around on the other side because I got some more goodies for y'all. So here's Rick Ross addressing DJ Envy, the car show, and the real estate, you know, um, alleged scamming that's going on right now. This is dope as hell. I don't have no battles. I'm confused, and I'm going to tell you why. So Envy did my podcast. What are you confused by? You got to let me know, We're going to talk about it. Thank Envy you. did my podcast, Okay. and I asked him about y'all's situation, and he said... You better be asking me about the scams. I, I'm, I'm going to ask you about that, too. Okay. You know, let's get there. <laughs> the, 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 the victims. Yeah, yeah, okay. We're okay, going to talk okay, about okay. that. So um, he said that this was all in fun. This was the first time y'all started going back and forth. And you commented and you put the 100 sign underneath it. Like you was uh, y'all was good. It was just a playful back and forth. When did it escalate to the point where now it's it seems- still it's still not even on my it's still not even on my my skyline. Yeah, that's still small talk to Rose. But y'all kind of get a disrespectful with the banter. You don't think so? I'm not getting I'm having fun. <laughs> He, he, that's a little dude. That's a little guy. As you can see, he, you know, he wasn't on his A game. He should have just bowed out, tapped out Rose, which he done did now. But back to the scams and the victims. You should have the victims up here, the old ladies, the old ladies. So you believe who may that be that's outside true? in the cold this winter? They you might be so? outside. What you mean? But think the season so? guy said he didn't have nothing to do with it. Do you believe I mean, that? I mean, I'm sure everybody in the hair run trap gonna say we ain't had nothing to do with it neither. That's how we do it. Yeah. And that's real talk, what Rick Ross is saying. He's pretty much saying, for layman's terms, but I know you guys understand it. For people that might not understand it, it's like, that's the first thing you say when you get caught up. You plead not guilty. Like 90-something percent of the people are going to plead not guilty. Probably 99% of the people are going to plead not guilty. And some people are going to even ride it out and say, look, I wasn't there. I didn't do it. You got to prove it. That's why there's the burdens is upon the state or the federal government to actually prove it. But let's go to the beginning of this thing because we got to go back you know, um, to the onset at the beginning, um, and who really got this thing, who made it aware that everybody's talking about right now is Tony, the closer, if you can remember, and I can, you know, say this because I've been watching this whole thing from a bird's eye view, right, um, we seen that, I guess, Tony, the closer, he was pretty much, you know, exposing mad different people, mad different real estate gurus, credit gurus, whatever, so, people pretty much, victims, Felt like that's the person to go to. Now, I understand what Tony's going through because people know my history on YouTube. I was in the position that he was in, exposing some stuff that was going on. Unfortunately, in that position, you're going to take a lot of bullets. You're going to take a lot of slander. And you're going to you stand to lose a lot, right? As, as noble as a position as it is to point out somebody who's allegedly, supposedly scamming, you are going to... They're going to put you on the cross, right? But he was the first person that i know of you know that that brought light to the whole situation and i never ever would have thought that the feds would jump on this so quickly right now it's just kind of ironic now that because you can remember on the onset when information was coming out top medias wouldn't cover it shit none of the medias would really cover it except us right see we was the only one talking about this early on like oh snap like this is what's being alleged. Boom, boom, boom. This person's being dragged in. And we've been following this thing the whole time and giving a real the whole time. Now you see all these other, you know, NBC, ABC, Shade Room. Everybody wants to cover it now because whatever reason, right? Because it's a hot story. So we peep. Everybody gets to see that. We, you know, we don't say a lot, but we see everything that goes on in the industry. Um, but Rick Ross, I mean, you know, he's pretty much saying, look. I'm just trolling. I'm having fun or whatever. But he's a scammer. I think he's a scammer. I don't really rock with him. And I ain't trying to put hands on dude or nothing like that. He's a little dude, like Rick Ross said. You know what I mean? I'm just having fun. You know, yeah, the car show was a little battle, battle, whatever the case may be. 
You know, uh, I haven't been to Rick Ross's car show. I've been to Envy's car show. It was a nice little event um, for the family. Um, I got my different critiques and stuff, but people have their critiques about every every type of... People got critiques about what I do. I got critiques about what this person does. So that is what it is. Um, it's a situation that we're going to have to see it through at the onset, on at the outcome. Now, I've been on record saying that I don't believe, and I could be wrong, that DJ Envy understood the full scope i think that his eye he got greedy his eyes got big he wanted to make money he obviously and he and i think he generally wanted to help people on the onset and this is somebody who's been to a seminar sat there the whole three hour seminar look guys in the eye vetted the information i'm not talking like you know some fanboy i don't like that i truly believe that now i don't know what happened with you know what he knew how much he knew and what he did about it. That's the part I don't know, right? But I do think he had an inkling. He knew something. But did he know the whole scope of the millions of dollars that was allegedly being taken, swiped out, whatever, not returned? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. So I'm going to keep it a buck with that. I'm going to wait till the smoke settles in that situation. And um, that kind of is what it is, man. I want to hear what y'all got to say in the comment section, though. You got to... You know, um, that's why it's there. And you guys, I don't got to really say that. Y'all going to go ahead and flood that comment section. Give me, you know, your thoughts, your ideas about the commentary, what Rick Ross said, what I said, Envy, Caesar, and all that good stuff. Now, Caesar also did address, you know, on the media the other day. And that even went viral. Like, everybody, you know, was talking about it right now. So, hey, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. Um, With these type of cases, you have to be very careful because you don't ever want to get in your emotion. Like you may not like a person. You may not be feeling a person. You don't ever. And that may be the case. Somebody might not like Envy. They might not like Caesar. They might not like. Because you see like people like Funk Flex. And I mean anytime you get a chance to throw a jab at Breakfast Club, Charlemagne. Uh, Envy he going to do it. Right. That, that That is what it is. Right. And likewise when they get a chance to throw a shot. They throw a shot. That is what it is. But you have to be careful because. When you start putting allegations on people's names that may not be true, then you kind of open yourself up to the Tasha K liability, right? And that still has to be proven in court. It still has to be, you know, um, the evidence has to come out, but you don't want to open yourself up to a situation where you put something on somebody's name, right? And it's not no truth to it. It's just out of emotion, out of hate or whatever. Then you find yourself, you know, like Tasha K, in a lawsuit with Cardi B because, you know, she she just couldn't take the videos down. She couldn't stop slandering her name. But, hey, leave a comment, smash the thumbs up button, and make sure you subscribe to Hip Hop News Uncensored. I appreciate y'all. Peace.